Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dial H for Hero Clicks. We are so happy to announce that Hero Clicks Organized Play is back with a vengeance. This is going to be the January Organized yes. Play set with three totally new dials, Ooh. one new sculpt, and that's right, a mystery card. Yes. We, we're getting mystery cards back from Batman Team Up, and they've showed up before in other sets, but I'm glad we get another one. Ian, this is right up your back oh, alley, dare this I is, say. This the, is the best. The alleyway of Gotham this is City here. The coolest way that they could bring back organized play. So, like Calder said, this is the January kit. The name of this one is Cry for Blood. We have seen a solicit, we've seen the Batman, the Huntress, and then the brand new Nightwing sculpt yeah. here. It features some really cool mechanics. I also am a huge fan of the mystery cards as well. I like that that's been a continued thing and not just a one off. So to see it kind of built up, yeah. especially around Batman, yeah. is a lot of fun. And yeah, guys, there is even more OP kit stuff coming. So stick around, watch the whole video because there may be some more previews at the end here. And yeah. Calder, what are we doing with this set here? We're going to be giving this away to one Ooh. lucky commenter slash subscriber of Dial H for Hero Clicks is going to be winning this full OP kit. That's all three figures and the mystery card. All you have to do is go ahead and comment below what you think of this OP kit, and you'll be entered to win a raffle to potentially win it, and we'll ship and it out to you. And make sure you're subscribed. Of course, make sure you're subscribed <laughs> to Dial H for Hero Clicks. But the big thing here, guys, is because this is the January kit, we will get this shipped out ASAP to you. You will have hands on this uh, about two months early, which is really cool. And, yeah, like I said, stick around because this is going to be a continued series. We have a few OP kits to show off. But enough talk about the future. Let's yeah, talk I'm about excited. the now. Let's jump into it. Let's get it. Colder, why don't you? Uh, kick oh, we'll do a little the tease. Mystery card. Yeah, a little yeah, teaser before we get this about. to a full figure. Here's the mystery card. This is Q's question. The keywords are Batman, family, and detective. The clue effect. So this is how you're going to be gaining clues is by doing this, and it's called Gotham Knights. When a friendly character with a listed keyword and occupying hindering terrain hits one or more characters. After resolutions, you gain a clue token. So that's how you're going to be gaining clues. You want to keep your team in hindering. You want them to be hitting people. Pretty simple. And we've seen that prerequisite before. Yeah, it's so, pretty common. Yeah. The suspect, so this is when you have three clues, gives everybody, the at the beginning of your turn, you may generate a smoke terrain marker anywhere on the map. Opposing characters occupying that marker modify attack minus one. And at the beginning of your next turn, you get to remove the marker. So as long as you have three clues, you get to keep throwing out a marker and it gets removed. It's pretty fun. It can be used Just to- Anywhere on the map. Anywhere yeah. on the map. <laughs> Map-wide effect. It can help your positioning to get more clues, putting people in that smoke marker, or like it says, If you had a hurt. Batman who can, you know, free place yeah. into hindering, just being able to say, yeah, I want it here, and then going into the, oh, that's such a Batman effect. Oh, it's, it's I really perfect. like that. Evidence is once you have five clues, this gives you once per turn, you may re-roll a single d6 roll, and this includes a d6 and attack roll, super senses, shape change, blades, Ooh, all that King stuff. Killmonger. One attack roll, yeah, King <laughs> Killmonger, d6 roll, uh, all sorts of cool stuff. So that's really cool, and that's only five, so that's five hit attacks and hindering. And then case closed uh, is seven, which is pretty low as far as some case closed mm -hmm. go. Opposing characters can't use safeguard, outwit, or protected outwit. Again, very Batman theme. That Batman can outwit so you no good. matter what, period, once the case is closed. So that's all thanks to Q's question here, which is pretty neat. So I like this mystery card a yeah, lot. I think it's really, really strong. Solid. I know it takes seven hits to get fully it's closed there, which is a lot. But what if I told you there was a way to accelerate it, and it was with hmm. no other than the Batman hmm. himself, uh, so once again, this is a re-sculpt. This is the one from the Wonder Woman 80 set, the right. common, the kick. I actually kind of dig this, so it's not too bad. He's real buff in this sculpt. He is I mean, buff Batman, yeah. Kind of rocking the Affleck-esque suit there. Not quite, but I can totally kick enough. you in the head, man. I can yeah. totally kick you in the head. That's like this really funny sculpt. Bragging about flexibility. Yeah. <laughs> That's this Batman. But uh, as far as acceleration for these legacy cards go, I absolutely love this Batman. I think this is a very unique mechanic and is a great take on the character. Uh, we'll start off with his keywords, Batman Family, Gotham City, Detective, Martial Artist, and the world's greatest detective as a trait. So when Batman begins the game, for all characters with this trait, you may place a clue token on a mystery card on your sideline. If Batman is 65 points, place three instead. Ooh. Batman modifies his combat values by plus one for each friendly mystery card that can use a case close effect. So right off the bat, if you're paying the 65, you can just start placing hindering right. globally wow. on the map. That's good. Then two more hits, now you get to reroll a single D6. Yeah. I really like that. Okay. On top of that, he also has stalking through Gotham, a very Batman-esque power here, which is combat reflexes willpower. When Batman uses willpower, you may move him up to the result. 
You don't have to succeed on that, but you could be removing an action token and then moving five or six, which is really solid. That's really good. So he comes in at 65 or 40. At the 65 line, he's actually a bit weaker. He's got a weird power set of leap climb, quake, the special mm. defense, and outwit. Whereas at the 40 point line, he's charge precision strike with one additional movement, one additional damage, and perplex. So if you pay the additional 25 points, you do get those three mystery tokens. But honestly, at the he's cost a bit of weaker. Batman being like a worse yeah. attacker, that's kind of interesting. It is a huh. It's a really unique way to make consideration for the higher dials because oftentimes you just completely disregard them, right? Oh yeah, you absolutely. just play the lower that's dial. True. And honestly, I look at this and I think, man, I am going to play this probably at both lines and really experiment and see how it goes. But overall, very thematic, very flavorful, and a very like prize or It's a very unique version theory. of Batman and they are heavily focused into the case very detective. aspect, which I really and, like. Yeah, very yeah. thematic for the set, but let's go ahead and check out let's, Huntress. Let's talk about Huntress here. Yeah. I enjoy her, I think she's kind of fun. Her keywords are Batman Family, Birds of Prey, Gotham City, Assassin, and Detective. Take a look at her dial. I like it. It's got the sidestep, the combat reflexes, all that. That's pretty fun. Just kind of shooting from the shadows. And then it's more of a run and gun, uh, last ditch effort dial. She has the target trait, which I'll read off, but we got this introduced to us in Notorious. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of the game, for all characters with this trait, you give a target token to an opposing character. For all characters with this trait, when a friendly character with the assassin keyword KOs an opposing character with a target token, you score 25 victory points, which is pretty cool to get an additional 25 victory points. Always take that, yeah. Her second trait has a unique way to work with the target token, mm -hmm. and I think it's really cool. So, blood cries for blood when Huntress is KO'd by an opposing attack. After resolutions, deal an opposing character with a target token damage equal to the damage that she took. From kind of that like attack. A, kind of like a bag man effect. Yeah. <laughs> from it's really interesting. So if they do you like seven damage to kill you and you only take two and you die, you're doing seven damage to the person that has a target token. So usually you just want to go out and kill the person with the target token right away. But hers is the other way around. Where yeah. You'll keep them around and then when you finally kill her, you punish them. It might put your opponent it's in kind a weird of, position. It's really weird. Where... Yeah. So yeah. I think it's I think it's kind of fun. I think it's kind of cool. And then for the first four clicks, she has a special damage power, which is shut your mouth or I'll nail it closed. Mm. Huntress isn't very talkative, I guess. She doesn't appreciate talkative people. When Huntress attacks, choose an opposing character within range and line of fire. Until your next turn, the chosen character can't use outwit, perplex, or probability control. That's really strong. Wow. That's really Shoot. good. That's really good. Yeah. Holy smokes, Huntress. That is taking away like literally some of the strongest damage powers in Pretty the entire game. Pretty much powers game. that are on They can't use every on a team. ton of teams. Yeah, exactly. And she just gets rid of those. She has solid combat values. I think she has really unique ways to use the target token. And then, of course, Batman TA with the stealth and the combat reflexes work well together. So Huntress is pretty fun. I think she's cool for 50 points. That's her only line to play her at. I'll definitely play her. I think she's got a really unique dial. So now yeah. we just have... The, the cool, coolest figure. I mean, set. he is really like, cool. The Batman's great. The mystery card's real solid. But come on. I mean, Nightwing in his, uh, I think we both agreed. The best Nightwing costume. The best costume. costume. Yeah, this is I think just so. Just absolutely amazing. The nice little terrain there, too. He's kind of on I like, like that, a, on that ledge. Shattered ledge. Yeah. yeah real fun. So, I do love, uh, Batman has the trait, the world's greatest detective, and then Nightwing's trait is... Bloodhaven's greatest so, detective. In Bloodhaven. <laughs> He's like, hey, this is, this is where I hang this out. This is my turf. He knew he couldn't compete. He had no, to, he you had to go can't. elsewhere. Yeah, real so, respect's real. As uh, usual with many Nightwing figures, he has Batman team ability and Outsiders, which Outsiders is just incredible. It's a very awesome. slept on, I think, team ability, just because it's not as common. I mean, it's never really been. Yeah. But uh, being able to stop people from modifying their values, especially in the Scott Porter era, is uh, very significant. Just a lot of blanket huge. plus one attacks. It's really big. But uh, he also has Batman Family, Gotham City, Detective, Martial Artist, and Police keywords. Mm. So, solid selection there as well. But the Blood Haven's Greatest Detective trait is going to give Nightwing modifies his combat values plus one for each friendly mystery card that can use a case close effect. So, same as wow. Batman, he just doesn't get to place the tokens. And granted, you know, you still have to get like seven tokens on a mystery card or maybe nine. Right, yeah. So... I'm not sure how impactful that will actually be, but I am interested to see like if I can get it off. Like maybe that'll he'll probably be rocking a plus one halfway At through the point, game. Right? Yeah, maybe, maybe closer to the end. But yeah, and then uh, he has let's see two lines, 55 and 30. He ignores elevated and characters, 
And then he's got a special movement ability called Acrobatic Vigilante, which is flurry. When Nightwing uses it, before making each attack, he may move up to two squares. Ooh. Also a very Nightwing ability. I like that. They've given yeah, that to fun. quite a few in different variations to different Nightwings. But at 55 or 30, his 30-point line, he starts with sidestep, precision, close combat expert, combat reflexes. At 55, the special, perplex, quake, 11 attack. Like, I really like this Nightwing. Cool. I think he's a lot of fun. And with things like the motorcycle, if you're thinking, oh, he doesn't mm. have charge, boom, toss that on him. And oh, now, Char, super senses yeah. for and Nightwing? Fitting, That's too. really good. Oh, he yeah, absolutely. His bike, the he's night always cycle, driving around, you know? yeah, the night cycle, so, absolutely. Absolutely a very cool piece. I imagine this will probably be like the first place prize. I would assume so. That's got to be the first draft pick, I would say. Nightwing just looks yeah. too awesome. He's got a really cool dial. And the so old... in these kits too, oh sorry. Oh yeah, yeah, well the old Outsiders being especially on that like 30 point line just reminds me of the old like world's finest. Yeah, the, the 25 point the 25 point one, which I just yeah, love. Dude. Yeah, so now he's super cool. I just wanted to highlight that in these kits, guys, uh, you will be receiving... Uh, Four sets of three of these, so yep. 12 figures total, and then how many mystery cards? There's 12 cards? mystery 12 cards. 12 mystery cards as well. Yep. So, you know, assuming that, you know, you have a decent turnout for your venue, most players should be walking away with something. Absolutely. And uh, hopefully you have enough to give out maybe a full set to first place. That would be pretty cool. Right. So, overall, I think this is a really fun way to kick off OP again. I think so, too. I'm really excited about this, obviously being a Batman fan. And the next month as well... Oh boy, should we show them? Ooh. Just a little, just a just little, a little peek. Okay, Ooh. we've got even more Batman stuff, guys. We've got some Gotham City villains, which are a lot of fun. A legacy, a legacy card, card, which Who will be, be? A mystery, Ooh. but we'll reveal that next Sunday. So That's a right. week from today, we'll be showing that off as yep. well, guys. Giving you a little bit more. So in closing, make sure that you are subscribed. Make sure you comment below. You have a chance to win this full set that we used on screen right here. And we'll get them sent to you even two months early here. So it is really exciting. I just love Batman. Yeah. Calder. <laughs> yeah, that's it. No, OP is coming back. I'm super excited to have it back. Stay tuned next week where we go over the next OP set that's going to be coming out. And like always, happy trails.